Are you having a hard time trying to find the email from a company that you want to contact, but their email is not listed on their website and they don't have a contact form and you have no way of contacting these companies? Well, that's going to change with Tumba. It's going to find that email for you. And it's a tool that's super easy to use and I'm going to show you how on this video. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. The tool that I'm talking about is called Tumba and like I mentioned before, it helps you find domains without having to stress out. All you have to do is grab one of the extensions for the browser that you are using. In this case, it's available for Chrome, Edge, Firefox, all the popular browsers and they also have add-ons for Google Sheets, Microsoft Excel and Naver. Now, all you have to do is click on the extension and for example right now, I'm on the Tumba domain it's going to find the emails available for Tumba, for that domain that I am on right now. Without having to search around, I don't even know if they have a contact form, I don't even know if they have the email listed, but all I have to do is just go to the extension and grab the email from here. Now I can go to another domain, which is, for example, this is one of my, my domains. I'll click on, click on the extension and it's going to find it. Here's the email that I have right now. Now, aside from finding the email, you can also add these to your internal CRM or send them to your CRM because they have API and webhook. Now, the Chrome extension is what I love. I'll check this out right here. Like I mentioned before, super easy to do. If I hover over this, I am also gonna get information from this company, like the domain, the company size, when it was founded, the country, etc. And I can see the emails that are available right here. Now, if I wanna use one of these emails, all I have to do is click on it, and I can copy it and just go ahead and write an email or I can add it to my leads list so I can later contact these um, emails later on or export them on a CSV so I can send them to my email marketing um, service. So right now, what I'm looking at right now is that there's email right here and this email is found from different sources. So different websites are talking about this specific email. So that means that the possibilities of this being real, well, they're actually high. So it's not just that it's an email that's listed or found on the website, but it's also found on different websites that point to this email. So it's pretty cool. Now, if I wanna contact this person, like I mentioned before, I can copy this or I can add it to my leads. Now, right here, I've added to my lead and it's added to my folder for videos. So in this case, I might want to offer my service for videos or whatever I want to do with it, but I can create lists to contact these people later on based on the list that I have. So depending what I want to search for, I'll add it to that list. Now it's safe right here. Now there's more information that you can find right here. So for example, there's a little phone number here and you'll find these on some of the emails that you have. So if I click on the phone number, it's going to search for it and it's going to give it to me. Now you can see right here, it's been verified. So it's a real phone number and I can go ahead and grab it and contact this person. Now we can see we have a little check mark that's green because it's been verified previously, so I don't have any issues. Now you'll see there's a little orange score right here, which is 60%, so there's less probabilities of this email being real. Now this is one of the ways that you can find emails, but you could do all these searches manually if you want to do them. So if we head on over to the website, let me go right here, I'll go into search, I can manually search for a specific domain right here. So for example, if I am searching for something like, I don't know, zapier.com, I'll go ahead and search. It's gonna try to find the emails from zapier.com. So there we go, we got these emails for Zapier right here. Super easy to find, manually do a search right there without having to use the extension if you don't want to use, if you don't want to use a browser extension. I can export this in CSV if I like, and here I have the details, there we go, I'm looking at them, and I can go ahead and download the file to send it over to my email marketing system. Super easy to use. I can use also use the finder if I wanna search via names. So for example, if I'm trying to look for myself right here, if I kinda know the person that I'm looking for and what company they work at, I am able to search for their domain and it's gonna tr try to find it via algorithm. So that's not my domain, it's .net. Here we go, I'll search for it and it's gonna do its work to find the email. Here we go, it's found this email and I can send it over to verify. So is it actually a real email? Let's check it out. So right now it's just trying to figure out if that was an email, but then I am going to verify it. There we go. So you can see this email status is invalid. So it tried, it tried to formulate the email that it, that could be possible. And now when I verify it, it's not real. So it helps me with that searches. I can also use the verifier straight from here if I just wanna verify an email. This is my email that I use for sasmaster.net. Go ahead and search, 
and it's gonna do a manual verification. Here's the information. There we go. I can also do this in bulk, which is super easy also. Domain search, email finder, and email verifier. Do this with bulk. You just list the domains and, or the emails and it's going to verify them in bulk. Now, this is my lead section. So when I add them from my extension or from my manual searches on the browser, it's gonna add them right here. And I can create leads right here. So for example, I've created this list which is called for videos. And I know that I'm gonna send over from the emails that I'm trying to search for, I'm gonna send them over to videos if I want to offer a video. If I want to offer something else, I'll create a different list, list and use that. I can also connect to these apps that I have available right here to send it over, the over information. And like I mentioned before, this is also available via API and webhook. So you can do verifications using something like um, Pabli Connect, Zapier, make etc and you can verify emails find domains find e a bunch of things that you could do with the automation without even having to jump into tomba so just using those those automations really helps you out but there you go that is tomba without having to waste minutes of your time trying to find emails when you are on the domain it's going to be super easy just jump over to your browsing on the domains click on the extension and you're good to go. So it's as easy as that. There's going to be a deal that's going on right now, and I will be listing, listing that deal in the description in case you guys wanna grab this deal. So, but there you go, that is Tampa. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on my next videos.